What's going on? Move the Mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Springdale, and we're just about, hopefully, to hit the prestigious rank at uh, Springdale U or Kangamoo U. I didn't change too much, I think, since the last time I was recording. I did add some trees, alders, kind of mixed them around the campus, and, uh, oh, of course. I did a little bit of cleanup over here, moved some things around again and again. I couldn't decide what to do with it. Um, eventually, we'll move Central Park out of here and uh, and make it an official sports complex. But I did add, uh, let me see. Actually, let me show you. Probably better. And while I'm showing this, it's going to tick over to the new uh, academic year. I added a metro that has two stops in the sports area. Actually goes underneath that tunnel to hook up to the campus over here. And there's three stops. One in the corner of the dorms. One over here at the main university building, and then one over here on this uh, avenue. So people, that way people can kind of get around the uh, the campus a little bit. Let's pause it for one second and just see kind of where that's at. So 207 passengers is not the most popular line, but it is helping with some of the traffic. That is uh, a project for a future episode because we've definitely got some issues, but it's not too too bad. But it's not uh, the best, so. We'll, uh, we'll troubleshoot traffic in the future. We should be... Where are we? It's so close. Is it the end of today? It's got to be, right? Okay, it's definitely today. <laughs> when is, does it actually tell us? Ends in zero weeks. So um, we need three academic works. That's what we need to get prestigious. The uh, student capacity has dropped down quite a bit. We've got a bunch of residential demand, so as we move more people into the city, it will get closer to uh, kind of where we were at. Uh, 12,000 capacity, that was around 210,000 population. So uh, as we move more people in, we will have some of that demand met, but right now we've got a lot of extra dormitory space, almost 50% uh, extra. So there we go. Kangamoo U is now prestigious. We were able to complete four works. We needed three. We did drop students since last year, but again, we need to move people into the city. Uh, attractiveness is up from last year, and we've unlocked the School of Engineering, Trade School Academic Statue 2, Trade School Media Lab, Technology Museum, and Beach Volleyball Club. I did forget I didn't drop the museum in when we hit prestigious. There's a, a museum for each uh, type of university that you can um, put your academic works in. For, uh, for display, kind of show off your work. Uh, what Speaking of, what do we get? Skyline of Angry Clashes. Uh, brand new video game. Uh, groundbreaking textile research. Uh, Skylines Go. Another game. Yeah, they're just really trying to capitalize on the Skylines, I see. Uh, otherworldly Ambient Sounds. And check it out. <laughs> uh, this actually happened last academic year as well. I had to skip two academic years just kind of sitting here waiting to get too prestigious. But uh, that's two years in a row that with a fully funded uh, sports budget. Uh, actually, let's see. I don't think I put the ticket prices up. But I probably could. Uh, varsity sports. Everything's up. Cheerleading, coaching. Um, ticket prices are still default, though. So we could probably make some more money for, uh, for the school. But budget-wise, we're doing okay. Um, we do a little better when we have a lot more students, and uh, and that makes up uh, a good chunk of our, our city income. Um, so we've got it where tuition fees are giving us about, what, uh, $33,000 right now with a half-filled university. So let's drop in. Let's drop in those last couple buildings we unlocked. Let's see if I can remember where we left off. Uh... That's the commencement office, right? Yeah. So, uh, academic statue one we had. Do we have an auditorium? I wish I'd remembered what uh, was unlocked there. That's the auditorium. Uh, laboratories. Yeah, we got all this. Uh, bookstore, that is over here. Right? <laughs> yeah, okay, so that's all the stuff that we added in right towards the end of the last uh, bit. Media Lab, here's where we get into some new stuff. So, and this is where we have to get creative about using the space that we have left. 
Um, so let's see. How can we move things around? All right, that's not very big. Can we get this. Can we get this right in the quad. Beach volleyball. Um, all right. Let's see. This is the. Let's get the media lab in here. I take it back. Squirrel. Uh, let's drop what is probably going to be the biggest building in first and then work our way around with the other stuff because that is going to present the biggest problem. So that looks like the way to do it. So there we have our school of engineering, uh, increasing all generic zone industry income while reducing water consumption and sewage. And we do have a little pocket over here of just generic industry, no specialization. So that might help us out a little bit. And maybe we could expand that we can kind of shift population and demand around a bit. And I do have some ideas for uh, blending this in a little bit better, but it's going to require shrinking the city um, a decent amount. So I'm still going to put some thought into that. But hey, squirrel, <laughs> where where were we? We were cramming in. Uh, we were cramming in buildings, uh, laboratories, bookstore, <laughs> media lab. OK, media lab. This is actually not a bad spot one of the bigger buildings that we have left to fit in there. Pretty jam-packed. Uh, this is the beach volleyball. We've got another statue. Can we get that? We can. Can we do it on, on this side? I think that's how we had the other one oriented. So now we have a couple statues. Those are the schools, and then do we do we just need the beach volleyball? That's it. Okay, that wasn't that bad. We could cram some more stuff in here. Um, let's do it right in the back of this building. That way, if we want to plant some trees to pad the outer edge of the campus a little bit, we could. What is this? Let's move this in. We, we stuck the groundskeeping out in the street. Um, come on in, join the party. All right, so we're in pretty good shape there. Uh, the only thing that we haven't dropped in, come to think of it now, is the museum. And this one may not fit on our campus. Or it may if we move that. This is an extra fountain, extra statue. Let's, we can get rid of that. I don't think we need that. Um, and then where... So if we delete this now, we'll reconnect that in a second. Um, where can we get this? You can get it right there. There's our museum. So let's just fix this uh, footpath real quick. And then we'll be in a pretty good spot. Did I use trees? I use trees for the most part. We could do that. We still get that kind of connected there. That kind of works. And then can, can we come through here? No, we can't. Okay. So let's uh, let's hit the road. Because I think that's everything. Uh, drive. Nope. Nope. Uh, drive. Uh, that works. So let's go see what we created. We'll throw it on one time speed because everybody's tearing off. Good thing you can't hit other cars. Come on, oh, come on brakes. Is that an e-brake or something? Because that was not that was not brakes. This is going that fast. All right, so we will come across over into our university area. And again, all, everything that you see here, everything that you see here is all university campus we will come on the non breaks oh okay and we're coming into our university on our little one-way road here and we'll uh, we'll park out in front of the main administration building here or we'll crash onto the uh, crash onto the front steps and, uh, and here let's let's walk around now 
So who do we have? Toga. Uh, what do we got? Oh. It was the Springdale Doe, if I remember correctly. This was uh, Santa Rico. Santa Rico, Santa Rico. Uh, whoops. Let me do that. Not drive, not drive. No. Back, 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 back. Walk. Springdale Doe. So this is our... This doesn't feel right. We'll walk around as a student. Not that young of a student. Or we could do this. That works. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so we've got kind of our main quad area here, right? A little bit of nature in the middle of the concrete jungle. I do like that. We've got our statues on either side here. We could fill this in with some, uh, some maybe some trees, and maybe connect some footpaths up to the main park there or the main uh, outdoor study hall. I think we can connect paths to that. I'm not 100%. Uh, we moved in all the dorms back here. This is, this is all dorms that you see on screen right there except for that block, cafeteria, and something. The IT club. And then we've got dorms all down this side of the this side of the river. Uh, what is this one? That's the school of tourism travel. So let's go take a look at the uh, the dorms and the school of tourism and travel. So those are all footpaths connecting back through there. Uh, there are a couple dorms on the main street. There's the commencement office. Ooh, there's actually a graduation happening right now. All right. Oh, I was going to say, do they throw their hats? That was going to, I was literally just going to ask that question. And it's, it's probably on a loop, right? But that is a fantastic touch. I like it. Excellent. Okay. We got to see that. We've seen toga parties. We've seen graduation ceremonies now and the hat flip. This is the wonky. This is the wonky school. Um, We'll come back in, in in detail a little bit probably at some point. I, th I think Springdale's one I'm going to want to do another uh, another pass at. Try and improve it and uh, decorate it a bit more. It's tough on console, right? Because you have very limited, uh, very limited tools in game in comparison to what you have on the mods uh, on PC. But we can we can fix stuff like this at least and uh, and try and give it one last uh, go over because those parking spots not good, not good. All right, let's see, where else do we want it? It's a big campus. I wonder, it would take us quite a while to walk across it. So let's get a look at some of the bigger buildings down here. And over here we have the Police Academy, School of Engineering, Cafeteria and Groundskeeping, Media Lab, Trade School and Museum. So we'll, we'll, we'll walk through here just to get a quick look at things. And uh, these are definitely, again, some of the bigger buildings, so... Gives us the, the best sense of, of how massive this campus is. Like this is all police academy building here. All that. It's huge. Man. See, that's all connected. That's one building there. It runs all the way down that block. I don't know. I, I think this one came out pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm happy with this. This is definitely uh, a slightly different take on, uh, on a university build. We borrowed a lot of residential space and uh, and some commercial space and basically reclaimed this entire block and moved what was Kangamoo U up here. You can kind of see the the old framework of it. So we moved that. Uh, so we moved that over here. This is the only university in the city right now, and uh, and it's covering all of our citizens. We'll uh, at some point uh, revisit and uh, fix the uh, the residential demand, which will in turn make our campus that much more successful and uh and i think we'll also get central park out of here and uh and maybe redo the sports complex we might want to rethink cemetery coverage but i also want to try to feather things in and here's what i was thinking of doing let me give you a quick a quick idea a quick a quick look at what uh what i might try and do here so it's very unnatural kind of how the city is is just kind of ends right i do have space i can work with over here but what i was thinking i could do is kind of 
this would require the unlimited soil, but make kind of mountains just around the edge of the city. And we would probably get rid of this top block here so that we could have, you know, like a, a little mountainous, mountainous space there. Maybe even tunnel the highways out, you know. So if you're looking at it from this side, it would be obvious. But if we're doing cinematic flybys and, and looking around the city, it would be almost a, a city carved out of, you know, some mountainous terrain. And we do have a little port area we can work with over here. So I, I don't know. Let me let me know your thoughts. What what do you want to see in the long term for uh, Springdale? Let's take some uh, some cinematic flybys while we say goodbye, and uh, maybe we'll be reminded of. One, why the cinematic camera on console is not the best thing. Uh, and two, some of the, we'll be reminded of some of the things that we built, like a bus station, uh, industrial area, uh, apparently bad traffic. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, game. Thanks for showing off the best parts of the city. Um, so this was, uh, this city was originally, I want to say season four of the Let's Play. And I built it with the intention of creating a, a large area for a central park. Uh, I didn't tell anyone at the time, but it was actually for uh, the release of Park Life on console. And I did uh, five videos for the City Skylines official channel. That's kind of what the intent of this city was initially, but it has grown by leaps and bounds. And, and I put some time into it and got it over 200,000. Uh, but I think we'll knock it down to 150, maybe even a little less in an effort to make it look a little more natural and hopefully get some cool uh, shots. When I do the uh, the cinematics on console, I like to do cinematics for the end of each season. Uh, basically, what I do is I run this camera for hours. <laughs> it, e easily two hours of footage that I grab because a lot of this is unusable. You get all this weird texture pop in. Uh, the camera might rotate around in an unsmooth way following you know, pedestrians or metros. You may get something that's not that exciting like this. Um, and I basically ended up recording well over an hour to two hours of footage to then uh, trim down just the best bits and the best flybys and, uh, and sequence that to music. So I would like to make this city just that much prettier one last time, kind of revisit, fix some of the traffic problems, rezone, reorganize, and, and try and build some mountains around it. I think it's going to be a tough challenge, but I think it could be a really good idea. But uh, again, let me know what you'd like to see. Uh, Springdale become or do you just want to come along for the ride either way uh, thanks so much for the support and for tuning in if you did enjoy this video likes comments and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated if you're new here subscribe and consider hitting the bell to get notifications follow me on twitter and join the discord if you want to get involved in the discussion and check back for new videos every monday wednesday and friday until the next one though this is move the mouse signing off <laughs>